Okay, so it's six o'clock in the morning here at the trailhead and the parking lot is quite full at this hour of the morning. Okay, here's the suspension bridge going over to the Lincoln Woods Trail. 6.06 in the morning. Off to Owl's Head. Alright, so we'll be taking the Lincoln Woods Trail down to the Black Pond Trail. 2.6 miles at Black Pond, we'll be bushwhacking it. So the Lincoln Woods Trail, pretty uneventful. What you're seeing is what the trail is. A few railroad ties coming up, but uh, other than that, it's flat, wide, and not a problem at all. Off to Black Pond. Some signs of Irene damage. Still visible. It was a powerful song that came through. Yeah, they got it fenced off. Continuing on. Okay, so we've made it to the Black Pond Trail. Uh, it says it's about a mile down there. Uh, it's been just under an hour and we have taken the fleeces off because it is warming right up fast. Alright, so we're on the Black Pond Trail. No, that's not Black Pond. There's Cheryl's over there. Uh, the trail has changed dramatically from what we were just on, being a single track now. Uh, there are a lot of blazes, so you don't have to worry about getting lost out here. So we made it to Black Pond, and go. it's quiet. There's evidently somebody camping over there because there's Somebody's smoke there. coming out of the trees. Thanks for the bug repellent. Over there is the bonds. And there's Owl's head. So, we're heading down to Bushwalk. Cheryl has the GPS going already and he's following it. So, let's see where we go. Okay, so the herd path is definitely gone. Uh, the GPS and compass are in agreement, so we must be going the right way. Onward we go. Okay, so we're walking along. Charles got the GPS, I got the compass, when suddenly it's ripped from my hand. We've been searching all over the ground for it, and then Charles saw it dangled around this tree. Okay, so naturally, as you can tell, we're still on the bushwhack. This area is a little bit open. We haven't really hit anything too, too dense that we haven't been able to get around. So, compass and the GPS are still uh, agreeing with each other. So I now have the compass wrapped around my wrist so we don't have another mishap like last time. But, moving on. So on the top, we're still in the bushwhack. We've been into it for about 20 minutes now. As you can see, it's, well, it's the woods. There's no markings whatsoever. There was some marking. Somebody threw trash. We'll pick that up on the way back. Well, provided we pass by it again. Uh, other than that, birds are chirping, sun's out. Very hot. We are sweating going through here. Looking forward to getting out on the trail next to the river. Take a break. Okay, so a little over 30 minutes into the bushwhack and we came upon uh, what I'm calling the Glen Boulder of the Black Pond Bushwhack. I think it's just huge here. Trees growing off of it. So, uh, occasionally we're seeing footprints. And, uh, excrement from moose and what I think is probably somebody's dog along the way too who obviously had too much for breakfast but other than that the sun's out and the sweat is falling down our faces so there's a lot of spider webs oh yeah that's the other thing too Charlotte has actually been walking with a stick in front of her to take off the spider webs because there's a lot of hi how you doing spider webs out here so all right off to the trail Okay, so it's been exactly an hour since we've been on the bushwhack. As you can see, Charlotte going through, this is definitely a bushwhack. Uh, but we gotta be getting close, because we are coming down, because we were up there. Sorry, I didn't mean to go so fast. And through the trees, I don't know if you can see it or not, mountains are starting to show themselves. And with the fact that we are headed down, we can hear water off in the distance, we must be close to the trail. So, the bushwhack is almost over, we believe. The mosquitoes are relentless, they're treating us like we are mobile blood banks. Thank God we brought the bug spray. Alright, I am standing on the trail. Cheryl is coming down the remainder of the bushwhack. I think that we were up a little high. So, this last bit of it was a challenge working our way down. But, we are here. 
unless I'm mistaken, that certainly looks like a trail and it's running right along the water. Welcome to the end of the bushwalk. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, so here's Lincoln Brook. We're now at the bushwhack on the Lincoln Brook Trail. Came down here to uh, wet our faces, some of that sweat off, and reapply the bug spray. Because the mosquitoes are everywhere. But it's very, very pretty. Uh, it's also very nice to be back on the trail. Uh, especially trail with scenery. So, uh, onward to Owl's Head. So, walking along the Lincoln Brook Trail. It's pretty flat. It's actually pretty out here. When we were on Garfield and we uh, looked at Owl's Head in the middle, it almost looked like it was an arena. So, technically now I guess that we are walking in and around the arena. Okay, so we are at the uh, entrance to the slide. Two Karens are still there. The, sorry, on my glasses on, the arrow, I believe that's right there in the tree. Yep. Yeah. So, Cheryl's doing house cleaning. <coughs> so we will be going up there to get to the slide. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is John. I'm here. We met him and uh, we're hiking with him now. It's good to see other people on the trail. <laughs> So, yep, the four of us are uh, planning on in and out in one day. So, so I believe we're at the beginning yeah, of the slide. Yeah, they said it's uh, 1.1 miles. I think on Owl's Head. It's a little narrow. It's uh, moss on either side. Yeah. We're kind of walking across. Oh, I remember slides now. <laughs> Water loose <laughs> rock. Coming back to me. Water. Uh, we won't have to worry about Abby. All right, so we're seeing more slide here, and it's all boulders and straight up. And the sun is out. Nice blue sky. And oh, I've already made the turn. You can't really see what we just came up, but we're starting to get some views. And we'll, we'll continue to go up. All right, so we're coming to an opening now. I believe that's the Franconia Ridge. Yeah. The views are spectacular. Oh, uh, the climb no. is definitely, definitely steep right here. And up. it continues that way. Yeah. Alright, well, if I see if there's another good spot, we'll see you at the top. The, the uh, trail's gotten narrow again. We're not as open on the uh, slide, but it does continue to go up. Uh, we're not doing bad. Abby's doing okay. I mean, it looks like it's going to be a roll pain coming down, but we've read enough reports that said that it's not as bad as it looks. So that's what we're going on. That's what we're hoping for anyway. So continuing to go up to the summit. Okay, this is our tour guide. <laughs> Hello! Told you'd make them pee. <laughs> the poor frog came all the way up here on the top of Al's head to get away from people and look at you. You won't leave him alone. Yeah. All right, Abs, leave him alone. <laughs> okay, so we are here at the old false summit. There's John. Hey! I think I can walk. Cheryl? Mile, so, let's see. John noticed a sign way up the tree here that the summit is actually a quarter of a mile still. So, a quarter of a mile we go. Okay, so we're on the trail, heading back out. We have summited. John's done with number 46, we're done with number 40. And uh, there's a lot of different little paths out here. GPS has proven it's weight in gold right now. So, but we still gotta get back to the trailhead. Yeah. <laughs> okay, working our way down. Uh, it is extremely steep, but it's going pretty well so far, knock on wood. We're cruising. We're cruising. And we're up to the crossing on the way out. Let's see how we do. You remember how we did it? I think you went that way. Maybe. 
Okay, the second water crossing going back. It's not bad. Water crossings aren't bad at all. We've talked to people who came in the whole way and didn't do the bushwhack and said that those, those crossings weren't bad either. Uh, they were rock hoppable, but some people just walked right through them. So, but we're going to still take the bushwhack back. John's got to meet his brother at the uh, trailhead for Black Pond. And uh, we just want to get out of here now. We have our head done. Later. Okay, so the three of us discussed it. Abby didn't really have an opinion. We've decided that we would walk out the full way. We wouldn't do the bushwhack going back out. Because we're making pretty good time on the trail. And we've talked to a lot of people who said that the uh, water crossings are passable. And uh, so we're going to do it that way. We just made it across this crossing. Our feet have got a little wet. Um, but we made it. I think, is there one more? I think we have still one more crossing. Okay, so we believe that this is part of what used to be the suspension bridge going across the water that we're uh, getting ready to go across. It no longer has a bridge because of the wilderness regulations of no man-made items. Kind of doesn't make much sense though if there's no man-made items out here that this piece is still here. Okay, so Cheryl's walking across. We just dropped the boots. John's way up there. Somewhere. I think I got him up there. Cheryl's finishing her uh, trek over to the trail. I gotta go. I gotta join him. Okay, so we're finished on the Lincoln Brook Trail. Franconia Brook goes to the right. We're going to the left because it's time to get out of here. That would be... Okay, so we're on the Franconia Brook Trail, heading down to the, back down to the Lincoln Brook Trail to take us back out to the trailhead. Uh, the two water crossings were doable. Cheryl and I switched to water shoes to go across, and John actually worked his way across on the boulders with the trucking poles. So, we all made it across without a problem, and we're continuing to go. We're definitely going to be able to just say that we did in and out in one day. Bushwhack in. Trails out. Okay, so we're done on the Franconi Brook Trail. We'll cross over the suspension bridge and get back on the Lincoln Woods Trail. Okay, we had come out here before. Uh, we drove the bikes all the way out here, and as you can see, the no bicycle sign. So we turned around and went back. Um, we're just a short distance crossing this bridge. The first turn will go down to Franconia Falls, which we went down to. The next turn will be the Black Pond, which is where we started coming off the uh, Lincoln Brook Trail. So we'll be back to our starting point. And once we get there, it's 2.6 miles back to the trailhead. And Isles Head will be completed off our list. Yay. Yeah. Okay, so John, uh, his brother was waiting for him. He was supposed to be here at the Black Pond Trail. That's why John took off ahead of us. And obviously his brother left him a sign to tell him that he was at the car. John, we could not resist putting this in the video. But a welcome sight it is to see the bridge. Across here, up to the ranger station, into the parking lot, grab something to eat, go back to the RV, take showers, Cheryl will have her glass of wine, I'll have a couple of brewskis, and we're going to bed. Yeah. Abs is getting her cleaning. She's so exhausted, she probably could fall asleep right here in the parking lot.